mushrooms in the Latvian forest, which I can see in the number and variety of mushrooms depicted in the picture. It is very nice that Aisha decided to draw a picture about one of her family's traditions, which is to pick lots of mushrooms during the autumn to prepare for winter. It really gives an insight to the life of a Latvian girl. The rolling green hills in the background and the picture are beautiful. They show the vast and expanse of Latvian geography. I hope to one day visit Latvia because it seems like a gorgeous place. And my question to you is how many different varieties of mushrooms are there? Thank you. I loved all the paintings that you sent to us from Latvia. They all showed unique aspects of your culture while also revealing similarities between American life and Latvian life. In particular, Emilie's Ledin's picture revealed a, the, a picture of the Latvian Independent Day through a window. Um, by using bright, festive colors, the picture showed a large tree and showed the pride for Latvia as an independent country through the four flags exhibited. It revealed a holiday that we also celebrate on July 4th, and I liked the similarities between Latvian life and American life in this picture. Um, how do you usually celebrate your Independence Day? Um, and also, the candles that shine brightly in this picture give us in America sort of a light into the Latvian culture. And I'm really glad you all sent these pictures, and I hope one day to be able to visit Latvia. Hi, my name's Rafa. I live in San Diego, California, and I go to Francis Parker School. And uh, uh, here we're looking at the, the drawing In the Farm by Davis. And, um, and I like the drawing because of the shading on the pig. The light colors used along the back and the belly of the pig really make the pig look three-dimensional. The shading used on the pants of the man feeding feeding the pig is also very good. The frame of the window is very well drawn and the deep black pastel really stands out and gives the picture a good frame. Also, the rolling green hills in the background are very vibrant and make for good contrast against the black window frame. What I really like about this drawing is the rich textures. The whole painting is filled up with nice colors and there are no empty spots. I can see that Davis put a lot of time and effort into the drawing, which is very good. And from looking at the drawing, I can tell that uh, farm life is a part of Latvian culture, and I was wondering if uh, you live on a farm, Davis. And uh, yeah, I like your drawing a lot. Oh, hi, my name is Nicole, and I live in San Diego, California. And I really enjoy looking at the Latvian artwork because they're very colorful and interesting. I further studied the painting titled View to the Beach by Train by Andrikis Mazoulis. The painting depicts the image of people relaxing on a beach as seen through a train window. So the picture uses a variety of bright colors and it not only incorporates the beach but it also shows a bit of the green forests that are found in Latvia's landscape. This picture is interesting to me because the image is viewed through a train window and Americans no longer travel by train so it's interesting to see the perspective of a person riding in a train. Americans can relate to this painting because Americans also enjoy going to the beach. Um, the, the artist drew a dog with its owner at the beach, which shows you that, similar to Americans, Latvians also enjoy spending time with their pets. I really enjoyed this painting and the bright colors. The relaxing scene reminds me of a typical summer day in sunny California, where for many months out of the year you can find tons of people just relaxing at the beach. I really enjoyed studying this picture, and the art students at Baldone Art School have exceptional talent when it comes to drawing and painting, and I feel very privileged to have been able to further study the different artwork we received from Latvia, so thank you. Okay. Hi, I'm Roz, and the picture I mainly focused on was of a girl painting by Lazma Ivanova. The main reason I chose this picture was because it contains a very smooth use of texture. This picture includes a variety of vibrant and relaxing colors. Altogether, the picture is very soothing. The foreground includes one painting being completed, and the background includes a different person taking something off a shelf. I chose this particular painting because it's very similar to the interests of kids in America. Many people like to paint or draw in order to unwind. Even looking at this picture soothes me. My favorite part about this painting is its 3D effect. The painting is officially separated into certain grounds. Additionally, objects in the foreground are very detailed as to trigger the effect, such as the cup. 
And my question for you is, what kind of art do you like to do? Bye. Hey students of Valdone Art School. All of your paintings were very well done with brilliant coloring. One that I could really relate to was this one called In My Art School by Klaus Likis. The colors used for the plain sweater really caught my attention. Last year when I took play sculpture, it was always my favorite class. At first I only noticed the boy and the clay sculptures, then I saw the cups, the pencil, the keychain, and the information of the day. It really fills up the page well. The designs of the sleeves of the sweater that the boy has on are really interesting. It shows an artistic side making the sculpture. Also, the fact that in the background is a plain cube that Clavis, that Clavis actually made makes it really come to life. This painting is really well done and very much complete. I enjoy seeing all of your paintings and the descriptions that went along with them. I hope to one day visit Latvia. My question is, what sports do you like to play? Bye. Hello students in Latvia at Beldone Art School. My name is David Marienthal and I'm the art teacher here at Francis Parker in San Diego. We are very happy to be part of the Creative Connections uh, Art Exchange program. This is the second year we've done it, and the drawings from Baldone Art School are beautifully done and, and very exciting. Uh, we're happy to share uh, some of our culture in San Diego with um, you in Eastern Europe, and uh, our students are very excited, and I'm excited to be part of it. I think all the paintings were beautiful. I really don't know how you're able to teach and learn to do such wonderful art at such a young age, but uh, I'd love to come visit sometime and find out. Uh, my, one of my favorites was this one um, by Emils uh, about the angel in the church. I'm very interested in uh, Gothic architecture and medieval architecture, and I'd be really interested to see some of the, uh, the old churches in uh, Baldone. I think this is a wonderful depiction of the, of the angel uh, in the church. I love the, the thick paint and the use of the bright colors. Um, the birds in the, in the foreground are, are really strong, and I think it just shows a real respect and love of, of religion and uh, religious painting. I love the, the warm colors and contrasting with the, the cool colors of, of the angel and uh, the way that it, the paint is, is blended. So Emil, I think he did a, a great job on this. And uh, all the paintings were wonderful. Our students have really enjoyed seeing them. I hope you enjoyed our work and we'll be anxious to hear if you have any response from that. And uh, I hope we get to do this again and communicate with you guys by email and video. And uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the rest of the winter. In San Diego, we have very warm weather all year round. And I know in, uh, in Baldone that you get snow in winter, which, which I like. But it's nice to be in the warm weather too. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the winter and have a great spring. Uh, I would really be interested in knowing more about your, your art program and uh, how you guys get to be such accomplished artists at such a young age. So I enjoyed the, the exchange and uh, hope to talk to you at some time in the future.